Are you a musician trying to figure out how to embed your ISRC code into your music video or any video? Welcome to this episode where I plan on demystifying just that. Cue the intro. What's up, it's your boy Skill from skillmusicsa.com and welcome to my channel where I share information to help my fellow South African musicians to improve on their music business. If this sounds interesting to you, please do consider subscribing as I do have other videos I think you will find informative. In this video, I plan on showing you step by step how to add your ISRC code that you got from Risa into your music video. I'd also like to remind you that you need to apply with Risa to get your ISRC codes and when they give you these codes, there are two codes they give you. One just for music and another one just for videos. So this one is particular for music videos. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The very first thing that you're going to have to do is understand that you have to download some software first. So I'm going to show you the step by step there and then I'll show you how to add that IHRC code. The easiest way to do this is to head over to my PC and I'll show you step by step. Let me go to my PC. What's up? So the very first thing that you want to do is get some free software. So VLC is what I currently use to do this. It's video land and that's the long version. So you can just simply click on download VLC. And then when you get here, it gives you the options on the type of PC that you're using. So you're just gonna click on download VLC. It's gonna take some time. And then when it's finished downloading, you're gonna get an install file. There you can see it at the bottom. It's gonna take some time to show start loading i think it uh, video land is only in 32 but if i'm not but it's okay if it's 32 or not um i've already downloaded it so i'm not gonna wait for it um uh, yeah okay and then basically when you get the install file you install it as per usual i'm not gonna go through the installation because it's not really value adding. Everyone knows how to install. So once you finally got VLC, VLC installed, you just open VLC. This is how VLC looks. Now it's important to highlight that if the video is already in MP4 format or move format, um, you can't really change the metadata without re-encoding. Basically you have to go back to the editing software. So this is a workaround of adding the ISRC information if you don't have access to editing software, okay? So let me just use the copy. You're gonna drag and drop whatever video this is. Um, just make sure it's the right video. Okay, this is a single that I'm dropping probably on the 26th of February, definitely on the 26th of February. So you go to where it says tools, you go to where it says media information, and then over here you see all the metadata that you need to put in. So obviously you wanna put in Skill Music SA, just to show you that I'm not cribbing. There's no information here, as you can see, this one I already did before. So, Skill Music SA, we put in family first. In terms of the album, if it's single, just put in single on the side, family first. The date, you can put in the year, 2021. And then the genre, for my case, is hip hop slash rap. Okay, it's track one out of track one. Um, for publishing, you can put in self-published, or if you have a publisher, you put in your publisher. I generally try self-publish and if a track goes beyond my personal capacity to receive those royalties, then I go get, I've got a, uh, I'm using Song Trust. Yeah, Song Trust. So you can put them in, but for now, I'm not going to put them in. But the key here is where it says comments. In the comments, you can add in anything. So this is generally where I would put my ISRC code I'll put it ISRC and then I'll put in my ISRC code, yeah, ZAJN4, uh, the year is 21, and then five digits, one, two, three, four, and then the fifth one is the one. So it's also important to remember that Risa sends you an audio visual one and a audio visual one and a normal song one. So you have to put in the audio visual one. In my case, this is my one. I don't make many videos as you can see. And I actually did this because someone was asking me, how can I go about putting my ISRC code without editing? So this is typically how you do it. You then say save metadata and then Bob is your uncle. Um, you should be able to find it. See, 
there it is over there but now scale where is the meter data um there should be yeah you see it there in details there you've got your comments your irc code it's right over there um unfortunately since you don't have access to the raw files you can't change this information but if you're ever getting a video edited you have to tell the person who's doing the editing that you're paying them lots of money so you want all this information in and generally the ones that are good do add this information um, themselves another way that you can check if you remember i did show you mp3 tag once upon a time where i used it to put in the irsrc code into an mp3 uh, this won't work with this one but you can double check all the information in here as well if mp i wonder if they have an mp4 tag i'll actually go check on the website but this is the easiest way i know to add an irsrc code most people have got vlc already so this is a good way of adding it in the comment section if you know of any other software please let me know go to my um the comment section let me know what you use and um yeah, 26th of February, wait out for chill out, <laughs> chill out, what am I saying, to, for uh, family first, it should be an interesting one, something different, yeah, but that hope that helped. That concludes this video, I hope you found it informative and if you did, please hit the thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe as I do plan on releasing more videos with more content to help you improve on your music business. But that concludes this video and until next time, Skilligan the Hooligan, signing out.